Hey everyone, it's Alyssa with So Fancy. Happy Friday. Welcome. If you're on, say hi. When you get on, say hello. What are you guys up to today? Crafting. Um, the doormat bundle. Our doormat bundle is still around. If you haven't checked it out, I did put a link up top. We just put out a blog post with three great ways to make a doormat. If you have not made one, there are some great tips, some great ideas. So check it out. Not now, when we're done. But what do you, the doormat bundle is $12.99 and there are 34 SVGs in it and five mock-ups. And if you guys haven't used a mock-up or thinking, why would I need a mock-up? It's a great way for you to play around with color to see how it might look on your doormat before you even make it. You don't even have to make a doormat, which is what we're going to do today. I was going to do another doormat from what I did a few weeks ago. But I went to the store and they're gone. The blank ones, at least in my area, which is not a big deal because the files don't necessarily have to go on a doormat. Just because it's a doormat, doormat bundle, it can go on anything. Like there's a file with flip flops that say welcome thought that would be amazing on a garden flag. These are from all our friends at All About Blanks. Um, we also have towels. Cute, right? And I thought, why not put on tea towels? A couple of the, the, five, the SVGs from the doormat bundle on tea towels because they fit. They're, they're multi-use. Um, just because, again, it says a doormat bundle. doesn't have to go on a doormat. I, they'd be great, like if you have a friend who just moved into a house and you needed a housewarming present quickly, you could pull up one of the files and put it on a tea towel, make a cute little basket, tons of ideas. So what I did was I took a couple of the files from the bundle and I just got some HGV. I have my handy dandy mini and if you guys haven't like pressed with this like I pressed out the towels I love this thing I really do um I love my press but again for small projects this is a great thing household iron if you don't have a mini you don't have a heat press use your household iron um you can do that too I have some stretch I just and this is another great scrap project if you've got scraps this size is perfect for towels. It's only about five and a half inches wide that you need. Like I just grabbed my towel, I measured across and it's six inches on this folded area. Size it up in my studio program and put a piece of vinyl that I had. I didn't even use a mat, which I love. In the Cameo 4, matless cutting, put it in, to do, do, it's done. Here's the first one. We're going to do one in this pretty kind of teal color and one in gold. So I'm going to flip you down. I'm going to let you watch while weeding. I did start, but I wanted to show you how easy weeding is. I love my four, the Cameo four. I love the three. It took me, like I've said before, it took me a little bit to kind of go over. I don't want to say to the other side, but took me a little bit but look at how easy this just weeds out and there's some little pieces in here um, I'm not even going to use my pick I, don't, I can just pull it right off but look at how easy it is with this pineapple and look at how detailed it is and how easy it weeds up so I'm going to put it back down just so I can get some pressure on it and get it weeding. And I'll just pull out the rest of the little pieces um, after I get this big chunk off. I don't mean chunk, but you guys know what I mean. And that's done. I mean, so easy. And there's nothing left to weed in those pineapples. I'm not going to flip it around because you guys will be like, it's backwards which I know I'm getting a new phone tomorrow you guys and I'm really hoping I can get rid of this um not being able to flip my camera for you guys while we're on live so let's keep our fingers crossed that that works 
So I'm going to show you this side. How pretty is that? Now this is great to put onto a doormat. This is great on a sign, on a tea towel, on a garden flag. And you can obviously change the colors up. I did it in this pretty teal color because I'm dying for some spring. And I've got a cute pink checkered cloth, a uh, dish towel. And we're just going to put it right on. And this looks amazing with um, the teal color. And turn it just to make sure I've got it centered. And I also have a little piece I don't want to press on there. So I think you guys can see. Um, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to use my mini. And I don't have to use a pressing uh, Teflon sheet because my backer is still on. So that's not needed. And I'm just going to press. Have you guys made doormats? Anybody working on doormats, making any? What's your favorite from the bundle? The mock-ups are amazing to have. So small business people, crafters, people that go to the craft fair. Even if you want to make one for somebody and they're not really sure how it's going to look, you can make a mock-up for them of it and send it along great thing to have it's they're great um tools i want to say tools but it's not really a tool however um they help you can get an idea of what you're looking at you can change up the colors and it just gives you a better view before you actually make your project because i know for me i could i almost take more time picking out vinyl oh than i do um, making it and if you see what I did there I have there's a little lip in the tea towel and I didn't quite get all of the little pieces of the um, pineapple on so I just made sure I put it back down where it goes and I'm going to give it a better press and so cute right these will be great in like a, a wine basket with somebody, a little piece on there. So, or even in your kitchen, just to make it a little more um, spring-like. But so easy. And that's from the doormat bundle. Looks good on a doormat, looks good on a tea towel. The other one I wanted to do is another file that can be put on a doormat or... Um, tea towel it can be put on a sign it can be multiple ways that it can be used so we're going to pull this off so easy don't forget with HTV people reverse your image <clears throat> if it's plain HTV I have one little piece. Oh, I'm pulling my tea off. Whoops. I got a little ahead of myself here with this one. I may have to recut this one and show you guys later. Um, this one I started to cut um, without the mat and found that um, it was a little short. So. I'm going to save it though. You guys know me. I don't like to waste anything. Um, let's see if we can. Yep. Sometimes you might get that one little piece that just doesn't want to come up. I don't really like how that looks. So what I'm going to do is really quick. I am going to pull over my cameo. So hold on one sec. Pulling the cameo over and I'll bring you guys over to it. I'm going to cut a piece of my vinyl. This roll is a little shorter 
so I am not going to go matteless with it because this is a little short of a roll than 12 by 12, which won't fit into the rollers. And we do need a mat for this. My mat. And I'll bring it over, I'll bring it down in a second and show you what I'm doing. So we're just going to put it on. You guys know that my mat is a little less tacky. Where's my cameo? I'm going to put this in. And my laptop's over here. Of course, it's not on. And I'm going to recut it. In a second. Hold on, guys. I'm here. I promise. I'm still here. Still here. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to have to unplug my laptop. And bring it over. My laptop's sleeping on me. So, I'm sinking and I'm going to send it. Heat transfer smooth and hit send. As is. I always do that. I'll hit send and then I'll forget that it says as is and I'll walk away. So, you use your so fancy a lot with the glow forge. Darcy, I am dying to get a glow forge. Um, I hope that you are um, tagging us. Tag us with your projects because the files that you use and the designs that you use with your glow forge, we would love to see. We, um, we all are biting at the bit with uh, Sofanti to get a glow forge and use it, but those are, um, that's on a wish list right now for me, anyways. My husband doesn't think that I need one. I think we always need one. And can always use one. And this is a quick little design um, that will go by fast. I'll bring out, in case you're joining us, we are using the um, doormat bundle to make dish towels and other things that we don't really need to have doormats for if you go to your store and they're out and we don't have any or they don't have any, or you don't have any. It can be used with other things. Again, um, okay, that cut it. So, I always slide my mats under there. I don't know if you guys do. I'm going to trim this down, and we'll cut this again. Um, I'll put my cover back on that one. That's probably why they're not sticky, because I always just kind of put it under there. But, um, where are you guys at? I want to show you where I am. Here. Okay. Pull it up in the corner. Another reason that I think sometimes I don't cut as well is because I have little pieces stuck on my mat. I need to clean my mats more and get a new one. But I think I just had some something to me recently, which I got to bust out. So, again, just weeds like butter. And this is another design out of the doormat bundle, which blown up on a doormat, I think this one would be, well, they're all really cute. But um, this could be used on a sign, on a little couple little pieces. Again, I'm a big, are you guys a big uh, roll and pick weeder, or do you guys like your picks? So this says, I'll show you the back, our nest. And I thought it'd be cute on this towel, right like so. Don't want that to get pressed on. Isn't that pretty? So, got our mini. Don't need a carrier sheet because there's already one on our HTV. And I know not to iron. I always want to like rub it along like, mm -hmm. but it's not really the way that you're supposed to do it. 
slow, steady, and pressure. But, um, Darcy, I want to know what you're making with the Glowforge. Are you using this bundle to make things with the Glowforge, or are you making other projects with it? If you're still on, um, I would love to know. And quick, easy, couple presses. You know what I just thought about too? I should have increased my speed on the Cameo. This would have cut out probably a little bit quicker. I always forget to change my speed on just a one color quick um, cut that's not too intricate. So I have to remember we can do that with the four, that it can handle it. So cute file. I love this one, this design. So fun, right? A couple different ways that you can use the um, designs from the doormat bundle. But if you really want to do doormats, again, we put that blog post out that has... Um, three different ways to make it. I know Melissa did one with her son where they use spray paint and HTV, which is a great idea. Um, you can use Aura Mask, you can use 651, you can use freezer paper. So the blog has a bunch of different ideas. You can use it for towels, you can use it on garden flag, um, tons of different ways and again don't forget you've got the mock-ups in it it is $12.99 34 SVGs five mock-ups it's fun check it out um, I put the link up top I also put the link up top for a mini design they've got them so I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will see you next week bye